Hello friends, we are working today on multiple area of SPF. If you, as you see, the diagram is already available onto the screen. I already configured all three pieces by providing their IP address, subnet mask, and default directory for all the pieces. For this case as well. Now we will go for the configuration of individual routers. Individual routers. If you see router number 0, fast Ethernet 0 says 0. Click on it. For fast Ethernet 0 says 0, I already configured the same using the IP address that is default gateway 192.168.1.1. Subnet pass is provided. I will just on the port so the connection will be started. For the same router, we have two more connections that is serial 2 slash 0 and serial 3 slash 0. I'll go to the serial 3 slash 0 first. The IP address for the same is 10.0.0.1. Subnet mask will be accepted. The clock is available. So clock is set. Default clock is 64,000. I'll make it on. Port setters is on. Then I'll go for serial 2 star 0. Serial 2 star 0. The IP address for the same is 12.0.0.1. Submit must will be accepted. Again, there is a clock available. The clock is set. Keep the port on. For this router, the configuration for serial 2 star 0, 3 star 0, and FA 0 star 0. And IP address for that particular router is done. Close this window. I'll go to the router number two. Over here, I have to provide fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. I click on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. The IP address is available. That is 2.1. Subnet mask is there. Port is on. I'll go to serial 2 slash 0 for the same router. Serial 2 slash 0. The IP address for the same is 10.0.0.2. And dot zero dot zero dot two. The subnet mask will be accepted. No clock, so I no need to set the clock for the same. For the same router, I have two connections: serial two star zero and serial three star zero. I'll select serial three star zero. IP address for the same is eleven dot zero dot zero dot one. The subnet mask will be accepted as clock is available. Clock is set. I'll click. Again, for the router, I have fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. Fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. The IP address for the same is 14.0.0.1. Fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. The IP address for the same is 14.0.0.1. Submit mask is accepted. Post it as on. For fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, IP is already provided. For this router, all the connection has been done. I will go to the router number 3 now. Click on the router. As you see, the IP address for the same is 192.168.3.1. For fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, the IP address is provided. Port status is on. I will go to serial 3 slash 0. Serial 3 slash 0. The IP address for the same is 11.0.0.2 As there is no clock, clock is not set, port set is on. Another is serial 2 slash 0. I will click on 2 slash 0. The IP address for the same is 13.0.0.2 Serial 2 slash 0. 13.0.0.1 and clock is there. I don't need to set the clock. Post it is on. And for this router connection has been done. Configuration has been completed. I close this window. Now I suppose to execute this particular router I will went go to this router and this router two connections there serial 2 slash 0 and serial 3 slash 0 
I go to configuration, serial 2 slash 0, or serial 2 slash 0, the IP address is 12.0.0.2, 12.0.0.2, Submit mask will be accepted. No clock, so no need to set the clock. On port, port is on. Serial 3 slash 0 is also there for the system, for the router. 3 slash 0. The IP address for the same is 13. Dot dot zero dot zero dot Oh, sorry, 2 submit mask is accepted. I no need to set the clock for this particular router. The light is green, the connection is done properly. One more there, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 is there for this router. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. IP address for the same is already given 14.0.0.2. 14.0.0.2. Submit mask appear, post it is on. So, in the given diagram, all the ports of PCs as well as for the router has been configured. Now we have to configure the routers using their individual areas. So, we will start with router number 0, router number 1. We will go to the CLI, enter config. Start the command router OSPF one enter the network for the same is network is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero. This is this network we are talking about. The subnet mask for the same is zero dot zero dot zero dot 255 and the area area is 0 as it is mentioned here area 0 and to one more network is there that is 10 series so the network 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 the subnet mask for the same is that is 0.255.255.255 and for the same area also remain same 0 for the Rathis router another area is there that is area number 5 that the IP is the network is 12.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. we have to configure that as well now Network 12.0.0.0 for same 0.255.255.255 and for this area, area will be 5 as we have mentioned here. This router configuration has been done. We will go for the next router. Before that, we have to exit we need to go to the configuration setting and save for nvram so to configure it from console by console it will configure it and save the configuration properly i'll close this window i'll go to the router number two and router number two cli Enter here and start configuration for the same. Now, router OSPF2, the ID. Now, I'll type the network. The network for the same is 192.162.0, 192.0.0.0. Zero. 
mask will be 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.255 for this area will remain 1 area is 1 enter as you can see the area mentioned here for this IP address again another network The network is 10.0.0.0.255.255.255 for this area is remain 0 because it's from under area number 0 and uh, it will connect it to another network as well that is 11 series so we have to do that configuration as well Enter. network 11.0.0.0 and 0 0.255.255 network 11.0.0.0.255.255.255 for the same area will remain area will be 2 for this area will be 2 and it belongs to this particular area area 2 <coughs> one more area is connected to this that 14 series that is area number 4 so network 14.0.0.0 subnet mask for the same will be 0.255.255.255 and area area is 4 area is 4 mentioned here enter for this router as well all the four connection area 0 area 1 area 2 and area 4 has been completed need to exit from this router again go to the configuration setting save the console configuration close this go to this router now for this router we have again three networks Area 2, <coughs> that is 192.168.3.0, 13 series and 11 series. So we will first do CLI mode, enter, after OS, PF, 3, 3, Enter <coughs> network network for the same is 192.168.3.0 and complement 0 0.0.0.255 and for the same the area is 2 there is 2 Enter. Another network is there. Network is 11.0.0.0. Subnet pass for the same is 0 0.255.255.255. And area is 2. Area is 2. 2. Enter. Another network is there. That is area. Okay. As we have done the configuration for this area number 3 and in between some problem is arised. We are doing the configuration for same area again at this level. So for the same the network will be network. Network <coughs> sorry thirteen dot zero dot zero dot zero 
is complement for this m is 0 0.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
so this is how we can implement the OSPF multi-area thank you so much I hope you understand